Hey everyone, welcome to the second edition of Minnesota Matchbox Makeovers. Uh, you may or may not remember, back in February, Marty took a trip somewhere and I took up the reins and restored a Matchbox Lincoln Continental. Well, Marty has a bunch of vacation and a lot of things going on right now, and everyone's kind of wondering where he's been and so on. I was talking to Paul and we declared December to be Matchbox Restoration Month and to invite others to restore 1 to 75 Matchbox castings this month. Uh, in honor of that OG Matchbox guy, Marty. Uh, I'm going to start with the 70B grit spreading truck. One of my subscribers offered me some castings, and in the picture he sent there was a grit spreader, and I told him, please, please, please do not send me another grit spreader. But oddly enough, I've never done one. The toy is based on the Ford D1000 chassis produced by Ford of Britain starting in 1965. Lesney followed suit and released the 70B in 1966. They also used this cab on the number 7C Rescue truck in 1967. Uh, the grit spreader saw a short life as a super fast. They're probably just trying to sell out their stock. Uh, the cabs are always red and the hopper is primrose yellow. I call it piss yellow, but that's just me. Straight up restoration here, so stick around. Just in the wind 
So this was all pretty straightforward. Uh, I took Tamiya Red and I added a drop of black and generally I don't need any more than that. Trust me, you don't. And then I get to get to this uh, piss, I mean uh, primrose yellow. I actually start with white and add yellow until I get to the correct primrose hue. It, it's also known by the military uh, under the designation K9P. I was lucky, the wheels were pretty good on the inside, so I used a tire wash on it and boom, Bob's your uncle. The window was in fine condition, so I did a clean and polish and that was all it needed. The 70B Grit Truck. There will be an episode of The Bench, so stick around if you like that kind of thing. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. Hey, thanks for sticking around for this edition of The Bench. You know, the Three Blind Mice has a bunch of builders already on board for their 68 Corvette build. Uh, if you want to be a part of this and don't see your name, head over to the Three Blind Mice channel and let us know on the video. And uh, Or you can email us at threeblindmicediecast at gmail.com. Next week, Minnesota Matchbox Makeovers will be doing the 5E Lotus Europa. When Superfast came in, so did the Europa. It was made until 1978. Uh, there's actually a modern Mattel version of the Matchbox Europa, which is stunning. Uh, the Lesney model includes a red pre-production model, which is seriously valuable. The first production was a metallic blue like this one. Uh, that was in 1969 and 70. And then from 70 to 75, it was metallic pink. Uh, they deleted the model from the core range and there was a special Japanese release that came out in 77 to 78. Uh, red pre-pro examples aside, the blue ones are better priced than the pink. Especially look out for the blue ones that do not have the word super fast cast into the base. And this isn't one of them. With a replacement window piece for my Dodge police car arrived. So you'll see this video out on Monday. And last, but certainly not least, the Three Blind Mice group have added a new partner. Jim Silva is going to be heading up our Gaslands post-apocalyptic build division group, whatever you want to call it. We believe that there is enough interest out there in this type of a casting project, and we want to create another avenue for you to get your channel name out there. So look for the upcoming first Three Blind Mice Gaslands build. My picture today is one hot off the presses. I went on a three day road trip and between South Dakota and Arnold, Nebraska, there is this 30 mile stretch of road that is all hills and curves. It's barely wide enough for two cars to pass and one of them is an 18 wheeler at 55 miles an hour. Well, it must be experienced to be understood. Who the hell said the earth is flat? I hope you enjoyed the video and it finds you healthy, happy, and wise.